She's finally here. No, not Sally. <laughs> no, not, no, not, not her. It's my 4449. Finally back from, re from restoration or retirement. I just say it was a slight retirement. Look at how graceful she is. And that weird clicking you hear is because she's still being run in, so... She's not perfect, but she's close. Oh, look at her. She's so stinking beautiful. Like my mom. <laughs> you guys have been asking for her for a while, and she's finally home. All thanks to my buddy and my friend, Alex. He's the guy who fixed it for me. Gosh dang it, I've missed seeing this. I've missed seeing all this action. It's amazing. Alright, stop in front of the station for me. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Here, let's try that again. Oh yeah, look at those, look at those wheels, those nice looking everything. So guys, I'm going to go over the, uh, the restoration work that my friend Alex did for me on my 4449. And it all begins with the engine. The engine, he says it'll probably last another 10 or 15 years before it needs another remodel. And he said that it'll be too old by then, but at least it's good for now. Right? Right? Why aren't you agreeing with me? So anyway, one of the things that he did was he fixed the handrails on the front. Look at those handrails. They're perfect. Um, he had metal, he bought metal that was, that was the same, or at least semi the same, and he fit them to the right shape. And now they match with the other ones, as you can see, or at least they're close. And um, he also cleaned all the all the gunk and dirt off the wheels. They look sparkling new, and he did the same thing for the tender too. So the tender's wheels have been cleaned, the engine's wheels have been cleaned, and if you notice under here, there's like this little wire. Here, let me point to it right there. So if you so if you look right there, there's a little wire. That wire goes from the pickup wheels into the motor, which is, well, which is in here. Anyway, that wire, Alex told me, it shredded. It was, it was shredded to pieces when he, when he first got it, and it just popped right off when, um, when he was working on it, so he read, so he got, I think this is the original wire, but I'm not sure if it's the same one, but, he fixed it, and now the and now the locomotive gets more inner, gets more electricity from the wires, and he also fixed some of the pipework and stuff. And the and I don't know if you noticed, but there was like a little spot or something on on the front. If you look, ugh, sorry, it's hard to do this because I'm at an awkward angle. So if you look, uh, where's my screwdriver? Screwdriver? Oh. So if you look right about there, um, I told Alex about how there was a spot there, and and I tried to fix it, but I couldn't. He had the paints that I didn't have, <laughs> so he painted it for me. And for the first time ever, and it's in this thing's life, this thing doesn't have that little smudge anymore, which I love, and never even thought it was possible. So another thing that he did was. Besides the wheels, he also worked on the bottom, which I shall show you the bottom in a sec. So you guys remember the video I made a couple of weeks ago about the about how the bottom was in really bad condition? So you guys are probably wondering why is her motor taken out? Well, the bottom is not doing too good in terms of holding everything together. Well, Alex went to town on it, literally. Well, not literally, my bad. He fixed everything. There's n there's these things called pins that are inside the model. 
if I can get it to focus. Um, there's little pins. Um, like for example, there's one right there. It's inside where the screw connects to the inside of the engine. He fixed that, and also the crack has been fixed too. Let me see if I can if I can get a good angle on it, because this is very awkward for me. Yeah. So if you look, remember the crack I showed you a little while ago? Alex fixed it. Let me see. Where, where that area is, is where the crack used to be. Oh wait, I forgot, I can just move this. So look, the crack is gone. And he also remolded some of the plastic around this area and this area in order to make sure that it because both these things had problems with their pins and where the screw is in there is where the pin is he took the original ones off because the plastic was so brittle that it could just come up it would just peel open like a banana when you screw the little screw into it and so and so Alex remolded some of the plastic and that's why it's white um it's because that's new plastic, or at least I think it is, and he also um, painted it black so that it looks more like the rest of the model. And underneath this, as you can see, there's black down there too, because the bottom of the engine is falling apart, and these two screws were broken beyond repair, so what's the point of having two screws in there if you don't even need them? So, so that's why that there's no, so that's why that there's two empty screw holes but there's no screws in them instead you only need that one and that one and like I said Alex cleaned all the all the wheels and I'll show you some good run footage of her in a minute and so far I love all the work that Alex did on this he asked me earlier oh give me a sec so Alex asked me earlier if I wanted there to be a coupler at the front that actually worked. He said that there's a fake one on the front, but however I said no. I thought that it would require him taking this whole front part apart. <laughs> Overall this thing is absolutely amazing. I love all the work that Alex did on it. And look at how smoothly it runs after I've been running her in for a good few days. Turning it up slowly. I have never seen this engine run that smoothly in 15 years. Ever since the day I brought it home, I've never seen it run that smoothly before. So it's a couple of days later, sorry about that guys. Um, so like I said, 4449 is back in action, I'm gonna, obviously I'm gonna try and dust her off. <laughs> and if you, and if you noticed in my previous video, there's this. These are four new cars that I actually found that someone gave me, and, well there's, well there's actually nine of them. These are just four, but however, my neighbor Andrew, um, who lives right across the street, has the other five, and so we split them. I know that nine isn't an even number, but whatever. Anyway, one thing I love about my railroad now is that it has a better rail yard, so take a look. Ugh. So, so it all comes from one, from one spur track. This track is for the 4449 and its train. This train's for the Jupiter, and this one is for, is for these extra cars. And there's also a nice little calling tower that I have in the middle. I don't know why this is broken, but, but I'll fix it eventually. Um, and also some newer updates are these extra cars, and as well as the relocation of the um, what is it, of the auto repair shop, and a couple of other things. Oh. Ah, that's better. And also, the, um, and also this new Mexican restaurant right here. Um, it says El Amigo, which means my friend. I think it means my friend. Um, it's right there, and it actually represents a restaurant I go to in real life. The restaurant's near a bunch of houses, so, and it's right there in the middle, um, in between, 
um, the rail yard and the housing area. And because this new track doesn't have the shed, or at least it doesn't have it right now, Handy's houses and Mr. Rogers' houses are all able to be given some, some breathing room for once. And also, you're probably wondering what's all this... Um, that's actually a... Ooh, featured trailer. Eh. Um, that's actually for for a new wiring system I have for my train, for my trains. Me and Alex talked over it, talked a little while ago, about the 4449 and how it slows down a little bit on that section over there. That is actually, um, Alex, saw, Alex said that it was probably a power issue, and so as the train gets further and further away from the source of electricity, like it goes over there, that's where the electricity is the lowest, or at least at the lowest level, and so we re- and so me and Alex talked it over it, and we rewired a bunch of stuff, and so that's why the railroad crossing is here and not over there, and there's one power supply here, and then there's one power supply there. So far the train seems to go a little bit more smoothly over there, it's not slowing down as much as it used to, so that's a good thing. But, you guys are probably wanting to see the 44.9 run, aren't you? So, here we go. Oh, I've missed that sound so much.